Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you've been following my vlogs over, over the last little while, um, you will have taken note that I haven't done much speaking. And uh, the reason for that is because I just really wanted to to leave the, um, you know, leave it up to the photography really. And I, I really, what I wanted to do was just uh, take people on that whole kind of journey and that that kind of space that you get into when you when you're out taking pictures. And I thought it'd be a nice way to do it rather than telling people what I'm doing is just kind of bring some music to the scene and you know use the visuals and you know just keep it simple really and uh, do something a bit different so I hope you enjoyed the last couple of episodes that was the third one without me saying anything um, usually when I say stuff I just talk a lot of dribble anyway so um, hope you enjoyed those and I'll probably start doing more of that kind of stuff um, just quickly before I go on hey listen just just um, Sorry for the lack of content over the last couple of months and uh, really just a case of my professional work taking over and uh, taking centre stage and uh, I don't really want to be putting out vlogs, um, putting out episodes um, that I don't think are worthy of my channel. I want to put out quant quality content rather than quantity and um, you know um, if I haven't got time to put good stuff together I don't want to do that so I hope you understand that and uh, 
Not sure how much content is going to be coming out over the next month or two. I'm going to try and up it a bit, see how I go. But um, again, I'm not going to put it out if I don't think it's worthy of putting out. And um, again, I want to kind of put out artistic stuff. It's stuff that's a bit different if I can. It's, um, you know, try and try and put out again quality, not quantity. So just apologies for the kind of the drop off in content. No reason. Um, I'm sticking around, so uh, I'm not going anywhere. Um, so just on that, um, the video that you just saw, I mean, like, um, my intention with that was just to kind of like, um, the idea I was going to do like a, a Leica M8 and like a M9 kind of comparison video, uh, which is what it was, and um, it kind of went into a different direction, but uh, all the pictures that you saw in that episode um, were basically off the Leica M8 and the Leica M9, um, and I just kind of wanted over the next you know, a few episodes to kind of focus on those two cameras and um, just look at comparisons and compare the two cameras. Um, it's not really like a review of the cameras, it's just like showing you what, you know, just showing some pictures from them and just so you guys can kind of look at them and make up your mind um, what you think about those cameras. And uh, again, this episode, all the pictures that you saw were from those two cameras. Um, actually, the most of the pictures were from the M8, um, you know, the pictures of the, of the the, um, the dead fish and uh, um, the landscape pictures, um, the beach pictures, they were all M8. Um, the pictures of the car wreck um, were from M8 and M9 and, uh, you know, just the, the, the uh, engine block that was in the sand, that was the M9, I think. Um, so just a bit of a mixture of pictures there. You can make up your mind um, about those cameras. Somebody said to me just recently in a vlog I put out that the M8 was probably the, the worst Leica M digital ever made and um, I kind of scoffed at that a bit because I think uh, I think he's missing the point. I love that camera and it's um, got its uh, got its pitfalls and its shortcomings but it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool camera and I like it. And just to add to that, um, the lens I used on both cameras was the uh, Carl Zeiss uh, 28mm. Um, so I wanted to use the same lens on both cameras so you could get um, a lens for lens kind of uh, comparison. Obviously with the crop sensor on the M8, it drops it to a 35mm. Um, that's one of the reasons why I actually use that lens quite a bit because it just gives me a nice focal range, a nice general kind of a 35mm feel. It actually stays on that M8 quite a bit. Um, one other interesting thing to note uh, is that I did not use the uh, the IR cut uh, filter on, on the M8, it just was filterless so all those pictures you saw had no filter on there um, and that kind of also to me dispels a little bit of the rumour, you don't have to use that filter all the time um, so I hope you enjoyed that and I uh, hope you've enjoyed the silence and uh, the um, the lack of my voice dribbling away there in the videos. I kind of quite enjoyed the content I put out over the last couple of couple of episodes. I think they've been good and the uh, response has been excellent. Um, we're going to carry on with this M8, M9 thing over the next few episodes, like I said. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to wrap up now. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really would appreciate it if you could. Um, hit the subscribe button down below, that would be awesome. And uh, as usual, also follow me on my social media. Um, I'm kind of phasing out of Facebook. Um, Facebook is becoming a bit obsolete for me, and uh, my, uh, my Facebook pages are still up. I'm considering getting rid of them, getting out of the whole platform, because it's just getting a bit annoying for me. Um, but if you do want to follow me on Facebook, um, in the short term, there's a link below for that, um, my Facebook page. Also, Instagram, there's a link below for that as well. Um, if you want to follow more of my photography, Instagram is probably the best place to do that. So uh, check out my Instagram feed and go and um, like or follow me on that as well. That would be awesome. Um, until next time, hopefully it won't be so long this time. There will be um, um, something coming out within the next week or two, hopefully. Um, I can't promise that, but uh, that's the plan. So until then... Um, I'll see you again soon. Hi, Ra from New Zealand. Goodbye. Thank you.